What's up guys, this is Emmanuel. Today we're gonna fix the tire. The last time I had a flat tire. So today we're gonna go to the tire shop and fix it. So this is gonna be like a vlog video. And also I'm gonna clean the interior. I'm gonna test this product, okay? So today we're gonna fix the tires, wash the car, cause I think it needs a wash, it's very dirty. And clean all the interior vacuum and test this product, all right? Let's do it. Alright guys, the Corolla is here, so the first thing I'm going to put the tires on the trunk and the rear seats because I don't know if it's going to fit <laughs> so let's go to the tire shop to fix the wheels okay guys, here is one of the wheels and the problem is the valve stem it has cracks on it I don't know if you can see it but well, it's hard to see, but all the bulb stems, they are bad. So that's why we're going to go to the tire shop to replace all the bulb stems and the four wheels. All right, so let's put them on the car. <laughs> Okay guys, I was checking the tire and the tire that got flat, it looks damaged. So I'm gonna go to the tire shop to see if it works. If it works, I'm gonna, if it works, I'm gonna run it for a while like that, but I'm gonna order a new tire because I don't wanna be driving like that, okay? So let's go to the tire shop. Let's see what they said about the tire. Let's see if it works for maybe one or two weeks okay let's go Okay guys, I have done some bad news. <laughs> okay, the tire is damaged, but it will hold, it will work like that for a little. I can run it like that for a little bit, maybe like a week or two, just, just, uh, just while the new tire comes. And the problem was the valve stem it failed. It was losing air by, uh, on the valve. So that's a, that was the problem, okay? So for now, I already replaced all the four valve stem because I don't wanna have that problem anymore, okay? So for now, I'm gonna put them on the car and on the damaged uh, tire, I'm gonna put it on the rear uh, passenger, rear, rear uh, side because I don't wanna put it in the front. It's gonna be dangerous. But for now, let's put them on the car and in the future, I'm gonna make a video putting the new tire on the car, all right? Let's put the tires and the wheels on the car. All right, this is the bad tire. You can see it right here. Has a, uh, it lost a little bit of rubber. <laughs> okay, and this one has like a, was like a chunk. It was, it's missing a chunk of plastic. Okay, so it's bad. But while I was driving on my way back here, I had a new idea. Let me explain, explain that. <laughs> okay, guys, <laughs> I had a new idea. While I was uh, coming back from the tire shop, uh, 
the tires, the wheels, I mean the wheels, they look really bad because of the wrap is, is lifting on the edges. So I have a friend that does a powder coating for the wheels. So I was thinking of doing a powder coating on the four wheels. So let me know what color should I do. Maybe just a gloss black, all the wheels, or maybe do like a <laughs> bright color of the wheels, okay? Because uh, that is a good idea. Instead of uh, putting a new wrap on the wheels, powder coating, <laughs> okay? And also, I was thinking if I do powder coating on the wheels, maybe all of them uh, gloss black, so that uh, will look cool. And on the car, a new full wrap, <laughs> a new color, uh, like uh, something bright and very cool. <laughs> yeah, it has to be something that uh, stand out because I do wraps for cars. I cannot do like a common color. All right. So let me know what you guys think. So in these uh, wheels, the wrap is lifting on the edge and it looks bad. So I'm going to remove the wrap on these two wheels for now. Let's see how it, they look without the wrap. I'm tired, but that's okay. So now let's see how it looks outside with the wheels. Well, now with the, without the wrap, all right? So let's see it, let's see them outside. Okay guys, that's how the car looks without the wrap on the wheels. You can see it right there, it looks cool. So now we're gonna clean the interior. Let's see. let's test the shine armor and let's clean it. <laughs> let's see how what's the difference with the new shine armor. Okay, so my interior is not that dirty, okay? But what I wanna see, if this uh, product, the Shine Armor, will make it uh, shiny, okay? <laughs> because some products, uh, when you put them on, it looks shiny, but uh, after like uh, five minutes or less, it, it lose it shines, okay? So it doesn't shine anymore. So I want to test that one and see if it's a good product. Okay, so I want to make everything shiny. Steering wheels, the door panels, the dashboard, everything. Okay, so let's test the product. Let's test the shine armor.
Okay guys, in today's video, I got my tires back, but I'm gonna get a new tire for the rear one, all right? And this one, Shine Armor, okay? It's nice, it works very good, it removes all the dirt and the dust from the dashboard, but I thought that it was going to be like a shiner, like the tire shine thing that you put on the tires, but it's not like that. It's like a semi-gloss finish with this one. I like it, it works very good, and it um, leaves the car like a, like a new car. <laughs> it looks like a new, like a new car, all right? So let, let me know what you guys think about this Shine Armor. Uh, put in the comments, all right? Also, the next video coming is very nice. It's something that I, I'm gonna put on the tail lights, all right? So, Hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video. If you like the video, please like the video, subscribe for more videos like this one. Remember the next video, I'm gonna put something on the tail lights. So it's gonna be very cool. All right, subscribe for more videos like this one and see you on the next video.